All right, we're going to go over the blog post and talk about Gwenpool, but a lot of questions about Quicksilver. Uh, my initial thoughts on Quicksilver is to put Striker. We will see. And then also, uh, you actually can unlock him uh, for $25. Wow, I, I, was, I was expecting him to be like a hundred dollar unlock or something outrageous. So this is actually kind of good. If you want to do a three star, 50 bucks, uh, four star, 90 bucks and five star, 155, you buy all the offers. So that's how it breaks down. Also, the in-game message kind of spells out how we're going to get shards, Quicksilver shards from weekly tournament rewards at Gold One League and above. Top performers earn between 15 in gold one and 100 in grandmaster shards each week keep an eye out for more details now we're going to go over the gwen pool kit and then all of the weekly events we're going to talk about hoarding and all that good stuff also there was a message from community manager archangel in my twitch chat said uh, this team was always designed for room five Masters of Evil was always meant for room six. Dark Hall just proved to be so good. So they said, nah, when room six was adjusted uh, the first time. And then they also mentioned that a little bit here in the blog. It's, it's, it's not even like they're hiding their intent at this point. And, and part of the issue I have is that they changed the room bonuses to room five and made it really difficult for the last couple of weeks. And it's very clear that this team is... You know, they created a problem, sell a solution. And and so a lot of people are going to jump into this team because they want a solution to room five. But that is just a temporary problem because the room bonuses. And how long is that room five going to be that way? And then are they going to do this? Create these really weird uh, put aim minions in room four and give them 1,000% defense and damage and focus and resistance unless... You use the new, 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 new warriors. Not the new, new warriors. The new, 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 new warriors. For a couple months. You know, they're just going to keep selling us teams through these room bonuses. All right, well, let's get to the blog post. The new, new warriors. As opposed to what I was talking about is the new, 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 new warriors. Very different. You're all familiar with the new warriors, but today you're going to meet the new, new warriors. Fresh faces include newcomer Firestar and the newest member Gwenpool. This five character New Warriors team will be Cosmic Crucible Office Specialist. And or I don't know if they're going to be that good outside. We will find out outside of Cosmic Crucible Office. The tags have levelly lean into that. With Quicksilver into the Cosmic Crucible Tournament rewards very soon. You want to build up the New Warriors to ensure you're standing atop the Cosmic Crucible Tournament rankings each week and earning the most Quicksilver, Quicksilver shards as possible. Oh, this this paragraph right here, and and I'm not gonna give a lot of commentary on this. Well, that's not true. That's not true. Let's just read it. Similar, how do the Masters of Evil possess the tools to dispose of the Wakandan teams, but not your Darkhold? You can't. How dare you use your your highly upgraded Darkhold? The new warriors combine skills to make them the perfect squad to take down the lethal Tangled Web Eternals combo. Who combined with the room five rules, temporary rules, have been the cause of nightmares. Yeah, you think? You're welcome, is what they're saying. We 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 created these these temporary room five rules and and they acknowledge that it's been giving us new nightmares, but don't worry. Scopely is going to do us a favor and sell us a team to fix this problem, this temporary problem. And if you don't buy it, you're not going to get enough Quicksilver shards. And then you won't get enough Nova. See what they're doing there? And although the new warriors will be the key to knocking the Tangled Eternals team down a peg, they'll be a strong Cosmic Crucible squad, even away from Room 5. Okay, fair. All right, even away from room five, let's take a look at Firestar and Gwenpool who are essential for countering the Tangled Eternals. I mean, they're just straight up saying that. Uh, right here, let's go into it like um, 
uh, Fire Star. High damage and focus stats make her a powerful blaster, but her charge mechanic allows her to shut down the teams that abuse speed up. Her passive ability also grants herself a new warrior allies an additional 50% accuracy, which will help you bypass Spider Weaver's accuracy mechanic when allied with Gwenpool. Okay. And uh, Gwenpool looks like she's going to actually uh, make um, Deathpool quite a bit better. Uh, well, there's giving her extra charges. So uh, Deathpool can do that ultra kill more frequently, which is kind of interesting. There might be some uh, way of that being used outside of Cosmic Crucible, but it, they, sh they give more charges. Um, Gwenpool is a brawler for the New Warriors and also supports the city trait. Her high health and resistance stats make her a durable brawler who can dish out punishment as well as take it. Uh, Gwenpool is the battery for her new warrior allies who have the charge mechanic, Deathpool and Firestar, allowing Deathpool to use her instant death mechanic and give Firestar a free attack each turn. All right, we're going to go down to the passive first, and then we're going to work up to the special, then the ultimate, and then we'll talk about the basic and the safety attack, and then we'll talk about possible options for... Uh, Ice away. Probably going to be Striker or Raider, but I'm thinking Striker depending on how her speed works. On spawn, apply a plus one evade up to a maximum five for yourself and all new war allies, but in Cosmic Crucible, have two evade up to a maximum five for yourself and new war allies. So there's Cosmic Crucible. On chargeable new warriors ally turn, give them plus one charge up to a maximum five to that ally. So that's going to be useful. For, for death pool, right? For sure. On, on Cosmic Crucible offense, apply an additional plus one charge up to a maximum five to the ally. So she, it, you know, death pool is going to pop off a lot quicker than she was before and do that insta delete move, which does like 19 million damage or something like that. Okay, cool. Uh, when this character drops below 50% max health, if this character has taunt and she has a taunt mechanic on her special, heal for 40% of this character's max health, gain, gain stealth and clear taunt. Uh, so that way she can like take some damage and then go invisible and you know, it's kind of nice uh, Gain 50% armor, new warriors gain 50% armor and then on crucible offense again a lot of max health and uh, More accuracy. So that is what it is now. Let's go to her special because that's gonna go off first and uh, Where we got that right here uh, So this is gonna pop up for seven seven tech which makes her kind of Potentially not that useful in raids. We'll have to see. Tech primary target for damage and chain uh, to four adjacent targets. Flip three positive effects to negative effects on each target. Gain taunt. Apply three deflects to self and all new warrior allies. And then on Cosmic Crucible, she will flip stealth on each target. So that way, uh, which is going to be very useful in room five against, uh, you know, the, the tangled webs, right? Because they get stealth. Uh, gain immunity. Fill this character speed bar by 70%. And, and, and this is only on Cosmo Crucible offense. So that means she's going to do this and then immediately go into her ultimate or very quickly after that because gaining 70% is, is monstrous, right? Gained 1,000% extra focus for this attack. This attack can chain stealth targets. Counterattack breaks the chain. If this character has three or more new warrior allies, this attack cannot be counterattacked. Now, rocket jump. So this is, you know, she's going to basically uh, turn one special gain 70% speed bar, go right into her ultimate, attack all enemies for damage, clear all negative effects from self and all new warrior allies, and then only in Cosmic Crucible offense, apply safeguard, defense up, speed up, to self and all new warrior allies. In Crucible offense, characters killed by this attack cannot be revived. Yeah, sound familiar? Sound familiar? I, I mean, this is just perfect for room five. All right, so let's go to her basic and her isolate counterattack assist, or sometimes they call that internally as their safety attack. Uh, clear all barrier on the primary target. If the primary target had barrier, barrier self for 30% of the character's max health. Primary target did not barrier, instead barrier herself for 15% of this character's max health. And then attack for... Uh, damage, apply defense up for two turns to a random new warrior ally that does not have defense up. And it looks like the safety, ice away, counter, attack, assist will do something similar. So what's interesting about, it's going to depend on who goes first on this team. Uh, because if Cloak goes before her, uh, his ultimate applies vulnerable. So probably will be striker depending on her speed uh but if not then maybe raider um but if uh, cloak and dagger both have this this mechanic which was initially pretty unique to them applying vulnerable 
uh, when they do their, 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 you know, like they, when Cloak does his AOE. So maybe Striker, we'll have to find out. Uh, I mean, it seems interesting. All right, let's move on. We're going to talk about um, some of the other things that are happening this week and what to hoard and things like that. Uh, Firestar launch will happen on the 28th. And that's where you, well, that's, not, that's when you can buy the offers. Uh, and then of course, when you, when you buy the offers, you get those, I don't know, C minus offers for gold training, uh, training modules. Uh, they also mentioned that will be, uh, six, 675 power cores. So you can, uh, purchase orbs that way. If you've saved up them from your arena and then they'll have an increased drop rate. Also, uh, we were talking about Quicksilver a minute ago. Quicksilver, uh, we'll talk about that further down in the video, I guess. Quicksilver will be purchasable in the future for uh, dark promotion credits up to three red stars. Right now, in the event, uh, you know, the top 100 or 150 people will get either a four or a five, depending on where they place. And that's just really an auction and a function of gold orbs. Fire in the scar. Fire in the scar. Ignite your roster while you... Power up Firestar during the upcoming Fire in the Sky event is a fantastic opportunity to get big rewards, unlocking upgrading Firestar early and getting blazing head start on the competition. Bust a, okay. Uh, bust open light up orbs or purchase the special limited offers in the story of multiple opportunities, make progress, be able to earn Firestar shards from a future event, which will take place towards the end of the Fire of the Sky. I immerse yourself in a celestial storm. So you get the lighted up orbs, you're gonna get Firestar, this is going to be fine. There's going to have uh, points for ranking them up. Uh, and then they have some rewards. Uh, I guess that's okay. Royal Soldiers Event, Masters of Judgment. Uh, so this is going to be an event right here where you win Cosmic Crucible Battles and you get extra points with Masters of Evil. And I believe everybody is using Masters of Evil on offense uh, to take out... Wakanda in room six, Im Immortal uh, Invader. This is going to be a vent which is going to uh, require battling in Blitz. So this is not earn Blitz credits. So basically, from what I can see so far, no reason to save any of those uh, like quick rumble Blitz or anything like that because this is just going to be straight up battling in Blitz. And uh, there's going to be some other ways, but that's going to be the main way of getting points for that. And then we're going to have another event, Seven Day Milestone, that is Spin Power Course. So uh, get ready to, to wail out. All right. Everybody's favorite, and I'm saying that sarcastically, a uh, form of events, which is just spending Power Course. All right. Maybe that'll line up with uh, the orb opening of Firestar. We'll have to see. Uh, new recruits, Quick Rumble Blitz on the 28th, which will be Cloak Dagger, Death Pool, New Warriors. Uh, th this is probably the best part of the entire blog. Stay with me. Coming Upcoming with a new season of Alliance War on April 23rd, which is, uh, what, Sunday, we're going to get Teal Gear War Orb. The center pillar will exclusively drop Tier 2 16 Mini Uniques. So... Um, that's the pieces here. I'm going to switch over to my account and show you. That's typically like, let's see. Not that. Those are 17s. There's absolutely no 17s in them. Absolutely no 17s. It's going to be the mini uniques, uh, which is, let's see. I think this right here. Yeah, right here. This right, these right here is what they're talking about. So some of them are a little bit more scarce. Uh, I noticed that when I was upgrading some of the invaders, I was having some difficulty with that. So that's going to be good. Side pillars will include augmented catalyst parts, augmented orange gear, augmented stat catalyst parts, and most importantly, unique pieces, which is a pretty significant bottleneck. That's going to be like um, these right here, right? We need those, right? So that'd be good. And in addition to having a random chance at unique pieces, uh, there's going to be more war store slots. Uh, the teal gear war orb will be available for 2000 elite war credits. So uh, they're going to expand uh, the war store to have a total of six slots dedicated to teal gear. One stop slot for catalyst, two for mixed gear, and a third slot for teal unique. So um, this is some positive movement on making and getting to gear tier 16 easier. It's still gonna be a challenge 
uh, to get gear tier 17 and then you know gear tier 18 is around the corner and that's just how things typically work in this game uh also victory and defeat rewards all of the alliance ward leagues will see updates to the rewards and depending on your league you'll be seeing increases and or additions to the following and i just wanted to highlight the important things you know level four ions and level five and um Right now, you know, you know, to get a big boy apocalypse, I'm really struggling with 17 specifically mutants and uh, which is just a drip. And uh, but what is non-existent is the level five ions outside of leaderboard auction events. So yeah, you get like 10 of the characters when you complete the sagas, but you still have to do 13 more. Uh, we'll have to see if this is actually a meaningful amount we will see. Then they're going to have the Iron Fist event. Uh, this is going to work the same as the other events that we have. If you unlock Iron Fist early uh, before you do it for free and you take him to gear tier 13, you'll be able to do those missions, which uh, primarily is useful for gaining extra training orb frag fragments. Uh, they're going to add Captain America World War II to the orbs. Uh, and they're going to remove Phyla from the Mega Orb. I believe Kitty Pride is still in there, so that's kind of annoying. Now, let's talk about uh, Quicksilver and Archangel and Dark Promotion credits. Uh, Archangel will be now available or here shortly. They, they're going to send us an in-game message when this is going to happen. Uh, but around the corner, Archangel will be able to get the 7th Red Star. And then Quicksilver will also be allowed in the Elite Store Dark Promotion credits as well. And that's only going to be for three stars is going to be the max three red stars the four and the five is in that leaderboard auction event that's currently running right now which is tied primarily to like earning raid credits and opening gold orbs good luck on that i think only a fixed number of people like 100 or 150 people are going to be able to get um a three or four red star on quicksilvers all right free claim friday web store was running super slow today but there were several items in the web store you want to definitely go there on friday because they have more stuff than usual on the 26th we're going to have the new strike pass for icarus and cersei and that is about it friendly reminder that the, all the information in this blog is subject to change before going live in game and i am not a betting man but I would bet on money that something is going to be wrong for sure. Uh, what do you think about Quicksilver and all this stuff? I'm pretty excited. Uh, I, I'm hopeful that there will be some use for new new warriors or whatever they're called outside of Crucible. Uh, I'm just, uh, nothing has changed on my opinion on Room 5. And, uh, you know, a lot of people have said that this is worse than... What they're doing in Galaxy of Heroes with Datacrons, you know, those are temporary mods. I mean, now we have temporary room bonuses so that you have to buy a team to beat a room. And then what? Then the room bonuses go away and hopefully the team is still useful elsewhere. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Let me know what you think in the comment section. As always, thanks for watching. Bye for now.